But first, I want to get in Paula Gloria, because this is good. She's getting her own show tonight for an hour, a special. But you know who I'm talking about. Paula Gloria is a woman, before I bring her in. So, you know, Richard and Sal, for a while, all they did was watch public access television and call and bust balls and make phony phone calls, which was great. And uh, Paula's show was a particular target of theirs. And I don't know anything about Paula, but it was just funny. So here's like, just to refresh you who Paula is, here's her calls. And Jennifer and I traveled around India together. So afterwards, in our celebration, we had Easter eggs because that's what they give you. Oh, I see we have a call. Let's see. Hello? Caller? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Hi. Great. How are you, Paula? Good. Who, who is this? Do I know you? Hi, uh, this is Rusty. Rusty, what are you up to today? Oh, I was just want, I heard you talking about going to India. Yes, I tra- I met Jenaba in India. She's going to be calling in later from Washington, D.C. Oh, my goodness. I, I actually went to India last year. Well, why don't you call later and maybe we can get you and her on at the same time? Well, I just wanted to tell you real quick, I can't. Uh, India was, it's kind of a scary country. I was shitting blood for a week after I got back. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure Jennifer will have something to say about that too. Yeah, well, it's I'd like true. to know if she was shitting blood too, because I don't think I want to go back. It's true, you know, when you, we when we want to be balancing the elements, uh, it's really important, and sometimes the energies get high. So call in later, okay? Well, my energies. So anyway, let's roll in with Jennifer, and we'll take more calls later. Roll in with Jennifer. You need to meditate. You need to understand selfless service. Or you right. will not survive. Right, right. Uh, Jenna, but we have a call right now. Let's okay. see. Let's see. Um, caller, can you hear me? Yeah. Do you have any question for Jennifer? Yeah, this is Rusty again. I want to know if Jebda ever uh, shit blood over there in India like oh, I did. Dear. I think you're just shitting me, so I'll have to say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> it takes all kinds, Jen. But I think when you raise the neg- the positivity, the negativity comes up. We need some nurturing from Mother Nature. Yeah. She's all hung up on this Jennifer. Oh, Jennifer, and he goes Jebeda. <laughs> Hello there, Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> so here's another one where Richard Buster Bowl. I mean, we have a million of them. I'll just play two, and then we'll get her in here. For the last few weeks, I had some extraordinarily lively calls. Some would call crank calls. So let's say cranky calls. Oh, here's a call. Let's see. Hello, caller. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hi, Paul. It's Rusty. Rusty, can you can you not hang up quickly? Yeah, I actually stay, wanted to talk to you. Stay, stay with me. Okay? Well, he never hangs up. She, yeah, she hangs, up. hangs up on him. <laughs> okay. Thanks. What's on your mind, Rusty? You know, I'm, I, I heard what you were saying about the calls, and I know I've called and been a little goofy the last couple of weeks, and I'm feeling kind of bad about it. Tell me. Tell me, Rusty. I want to hear from you, especially from you. I felt bad that I was being a little goofy. But tell me, Rusty, who are you? I'm just a fan of your show. I live here in New York, and actually, uh, it was me and my friend Sal. We, Sal called you a couple times, too, and uh, can I ask you a big favor, Paula? I'm a little nervous about you, Rusty. Can my friend Sal just apologize, too? I, just after the roll-in, okay? Well, here, Please, here, Rusty. He just can say a quick hi. Hi, this is Sal Governale. <laughs> Okay, I Sal. I apologize from the bottom of my heart. Sal, I don't want you to apologize from the bottom of your heart because you shouldn't have to say you're sorry. The you had some wonderful reason for doing whatever you did. Unfortunately, but we I just... didn't represent myself properly on how I wanted to explain myself. Okay. It was simply a joke. I sincerely apologize over the fact that people were offended. <laughs> Oh, well, thank you. said a few comments that offended a few people. Okay, well, can you keep staying tuned, and I'm going to have a whole show on it, okay? Because I have a lot of provocative material right now. White women generally... Please, please call back. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> she's never, like, she never has time for them. Like, she's got a busy agenda. There's roll-ins and roll-outs mm. and things to be done. All right, here is Paula Gloria. That is her name. White women... That's Farther down favorite. the rabbit hole. That's my favorite. She never quite caught on to the joke. No. That's what I love about it. Let's meet Paula. There's Paula. Wow. Hey, Paula. We listen to you Hello. all the time. Sort of. Well, she does have a very peaceful energy about her. She does have a peaceful energy. Yes. Hi, Paula. 
Hi. How are you? Good. Are you? I have you, a present for you. Thank you. Do you describe yourself as a hippie? No. A, a free spirit. What is the the quote? Yantra and tantra and mantra. That's from my sister. Thank you. The mantra sister and yantra creates tantra. It's a fart noise maker. Isn't that nice? That's just what I need. Very appropriate. See, she can come down to our level. That's yeah. what I need. Yours know. was broken. No, so I you just, needed a new one. I just want to say uh, that you have to be like a little child to enter the kingdom of heaven, and I don't have anything against the adolescent humor, but I do want to get on to the serious tantra. Okay. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. Let me have what you smoke. Um, first of all. Marty, would you drive down to Delaware for that? Oh, I'd go to fucking Richmond, Virginia. Was... Let me understand something. How do you get involved in doing a public access show to me public access seems like a big waste of time and i'll tell you why okay you have to great. pay to be on it right no you don't oh you don't do no. you get paid to be on it no you don't yeah it's free that's crazy enough right if right to get not get paid and do something yeah so you get on it and you I but don't ugly think... george always found the best women you know were ones that you know weren't being paid and that's how he made his show so successful yeah but it, it seems to me that i mean you you do the show and you have to put a lot of energy into it. I mean, you have to prepare and, and get a show together. Is it just you have a drive to be famous? It, it, you want to be seen by people? Is that what's going on? No. You know what it's really about? I made $5 million in cellular telephone licenses. Yes. So you're wealthy. <coughs> no, because I lost it. Oh. And that's how I found out about 9-11 Truth, but that's another story. So. Oh, well, 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 but back up for a second. <laughs> what? Five, you made $5 million. Yes. And you lost $5 million? Not all at once. Uh, well, I mean, did... I didn't make a lot of trips to Delaware either. How did you make $5 million? <laughs> uh, cellular telephone licenses. That's How do you why get I that? I would great... like that. How do you do it? Um, what, what do you mean a cellular telephone license? It, it, the principle actually has to do with binary economics, capital ownership. In other words, most wealth comes not from labor but from capital. And through the lottery, they were giving out licenses that gave you the rights to broadcast a signal, and I got 13 counties in Kentucky. Oh, La so later the phone on, companies buy them from you. Yeah, later on they closed the loophole and they went to Congress and they were citing examples. My God, truck drivers are becoming millionaires, not to mention hippies in Berkeley who slept under pyramids. So you got $5 million because yes. you were smart enough to buy these licenses? I was smart enough not to listen to uh, the Wall Street Journal and Forbes magazine that said cellular suckers. But then again, you made $5 million, but then you were a sucker on a bunch of other deals. You're right. Yeah. You're the right. same mentality that brought you the $5 million yes. was the same mentality yes. that lost you. The How did she lose it? She invested in things that didn't make money? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah. the last thing the, the lightning didn't hit again. But why didn't why you didn't just you get satisfied? Well, actually, actually... You hit the lottery. Why would you reinvest but, it? But just can I explain how it got in public access and I'll get on to that? No. Answer my question. Okay, go on. Why would you take a $5 million nest egg and start to reinvest it into kooky things? Well, first of all, it was a reverse triangular merger. So I didn't have the cash. So I was uh, margining on the stock. You know, what you do is you create three companies and then you swap the stock. Uh, you know, so, I don't know how to do that stuff. I'm not familiar with yeah, stock. But no, that's like the, anything should work yeah. out. That's that insanely like, risky buying yeah. a margin, right? I mean, so, so, yeah, right. So you blew it. No, 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 no. I invested first a million and a half in a methane. You figure five million after taxes is uh, two and a half million dollars. Yes, yeah, something basically close to three. Well, yeah. So. Um, you could live on that. That's the interest. So line, I yeah. did. I did a million and a half in a methane deal. Methane. 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 Yeah, methane's a really good thing. That's a Not for you, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> it might be good for other people. And uh, then uh, the last thing was telecommunications in China. And yeah. that, that was actually louded and fetted by the State Department. And then all of a sudden, you know, there was no news on it. That's how I got into 9-11 Truth. <laughs> All right. Yeah, she's, I got a lot of letters saying we shouldn't have you on because you. Wait, I should. I got to read these to you. I guess somebody knows what you're up to. We just think you're funny from your public access show and uh -huh. and your calls from Rusty, and uh, we just. Love and by that. the way, Robin's right that I never did follow that through, and even listening to the little bit that you just recently put on where you mentioned I never let him complete, it 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 really brought um, almost a tear to my eye because. I never completed on those shows what I wanted to do, and my good friend Jenaba 
was so upset at me. She wasn't talking to me for a year, and she just knocked the juice out of it because I was really going to try to figure out what those unmet needs were. Uh huh. Hmm. So I, you're absolutely right. I never finished it up, and the reason I was putting them off was one day I wasn't feeling so well. Do you know what I she's talking about? I don't. No. Me neither. I'm lost. <laughs> Jennifer. Jennifer is something. No, she's, she's talking about something else. But she has the kind yeah, of I voice know. that you can listen to all I, day. I, I I'm do. falling I asleep. I listening to her. That's some show. I tell you, I don't know what you're talking about. I have no clue. I'm sitting here with you, and I want to interview you, but I have no idea what you're talking about. I think she's either... I don't know what it is. She must be brilliant, and we just can't understand her. Yeah, you must be a genius, or you're <laughs> insane. I don't know which. Uh, let's see. Wait a second. Let me find this letter where it said not to have you on. I can't find it now. Oh, uh, well. I can't find the letter. I don't, you I, don't I know remember I read one. why we weren't supposed to have her on? Uh... Well, I think when no. she explains 9-11 truth, we'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, somebody didn't like this. What, what, are you, what are you into? You think 9-11 didn't happen? No, of course it happened. I oh. don't, as a matter of fact, when I heard 9-11 uh, denial, it got me to reconsider Holocaust denial. How, how could anybody deny that 9-11 happened? So what do you think? Uh, you, you don't believe there were actual planes involved. Is that your theory? I believe that we went to war over cartoons. Over cartoons. What's you think somebody? Was? You think someone? This took three years, by the way, to to realize. I I still want to say how I got into public access. Yeah, I know it's hard to interview you because yeah. you do go off on tangents. Right. No, you asked me a question. I was trying to answer it. Wait, this is a phone call for you. It's Rusty. Hold on. Rusty, hi. You're on the air with, of course, uh, Paula yeah. Gloria, who's going to do her own show at seven o'clock on Howard 101. I'm changing the name to Total Penetration. Uh, <laughs> yes. Paula. Uh, uh, <laughs> yes. Paul, it's Rusty. What's the matter? Rusty. Go ahead, speak to Rusty. I can't believe I'm hearing you on the radio for the first time in a year and a half. You left me, Paula. Rusty, has it you... been a year and a half? Oh, oh my gosh. L Paula, why did you leave? Uh, here's Jim. Jim, you're on the air. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, I just want to say, Paula, I love your show. I, I love the show Down the Rabbit Hole. And as a matter of fact, I was balls deep in a rabbit's hole last night. <laughs> I, I was wondering, how do I get the how do I get the smell of carrots off of my cock? All right, thank you. That's you know, ridiculous. Those are the kind of calls you get. Uh... Right, here. Howard and friends, I believe your choice of an interview with Paula Gloria is a huge mistake. Her and the group she represents are a fringe group of lunatics that promote ridiculous ideas that no planes hit the World Trade Center buildings. I agree you should ridicule her, as you probably will. But you have, have you considered also giving a voice to more credible questions revolving around the attacks? I sincerely hope you wouldn't make the mistake of equating everyone that raises questions with this fringe group advo which this fringe group advocate you're going to have on your show. Boy, that's some sentence. Yeah. Have you ever considered perhaps having a forum for more credible questions? So people think you're nuts because you believe it was a cartoon created by whom? The government? No, not at all. Who created I, I think the cartoon? We should, we should support our government. All right. The day we that, saw the World Trade Center blow up, what did what were we seeing? Well, well I didn't see it. I was in an ashram in India. <laughs> okay, got you, Brad, you, I saw it. Good place to be. Yeah, it looked what real to me. Oh, you we, think it's like my Dolly Parton thing, where I where I. <laughs> <laughs> you saw it on television. Yes. Yes. Right. But there were some people who, you know, we had eyewitnesses on the phone. Well, what's interesting? Yeah, we is had friend, We're here in Manhattan. We saw friends, like friends, saw it smoking and everything. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. But they saw the planes Absolutely. fly into it. I, I'm going to go down to Sixth uh, Street with somebody at MNN who was watching the whole, the big gash that that lasted for an hour. Uh, but if you do a close up on that, you'll see there's people waving from that big gash. Waving? Yeah, waving. <laughs> Waving from the gash. And what does that mean? <laughs> well, uh, think about it. Uh -huh. What do you think it means? If I didn't see anybody waving, honestly. I don't know how you did. No, not on television. Where did you see them waving? At the ashram? I saw them. No, I didn't. I don't That's understand what, what she's saying. Say. I, I don't understand, Paula. No, God, but I, Where did you see the people waving? In a picture? Uh, yes. Where was this picture? A, a little known, a little shown in this country, but over in Europe more so. Since I'm on the internet, I'm approaching a million hits now, and uh, we do a lot of interactive work. If you post something, then that will be picked up by somebody anywhere in the world, and they can. Don't you think somebody could have like kind of Photoshop people waving? It's it's. Uh, I don't think you could Photoshop somebody waving. You can't. No. You can't. 
No, not not waving, not not the video part. I think oh, that's it was another, video. That's another program. But no, Paul, what video. what do you that's think? That's how you see the movement, and then you blow up the. I don't know what she's saying. What do you think caused the buildings to fall? Then clearly they're not there. What caused them to fall? You mean what caused steel to turn into dust? Yes. Right. Um, I know I don't believe thermite. They tried to do that at Burning Man to show thermite, you know, could possibly do it. But if you've got people waving from a hole, it's certainly not going to be... What do you think happened, Paul? That's right. The right. buildings aren't there anymore. What happened? Yeah, what's what's, the, what's the conspiracy? Well, well, I Did do... planes hit the building or not? This is not a conspiracy, by the way. Okay, okay. Conspiracy, Did planes hit the building? Is, you, you just go on your VCR, hit rewind, <laughs> and go frame by frame, and you watch... Paul, did planes... Hit, do you, a lot of us aren't following this. Did planes hit the building? Well, I don't believe so. You don't believe what so. What caused the big gash? Gash. Keyword. Gash. Uh, that's, uh, well, <laughs> it, yeah, what, the tendency is to be ridiculed for thinking, um, to, try, to try to think about it. <laughs> no, but I, we're not ridiculing. I just no, want to no, know no. why They're, do the buildings fall? Why are they gash. not there? What happened? Well, she no, missed there was what, a what, gash. What, no, what, what caused what it? Fred, give us some clarity. I, I just want to know why there's video of planes flying into a building. She said it's a cartoon. Well, that's, oh, the, the, that's, that's, that's what that was. That's what that was. And the thousands of eyewitnesses who saw those planes were, were deluded into thinking that it was an illusion. Yes. How so? How did they pull Mass that Mass hypnosis? It, if, if you had a regular airplane fly into a building, it would crumple. It wouldn't go through the building and come out the other side as one of the computer-generated images did. And any U.S. citizen or anywhere in the world that recorded this all they have to do is go back to their archives, hit rewind, and watch it frame by frame. Have we been to the moon? That's another question. <laughs> what do you think? <clears throat> I used to, I used to, you know, in 1969 when it happened, I never got much juice off looking at it. It never, mm -hmm. it never. You made think me, it was a lie? It never made me feel proud to be an American and all that. I mean, I definitely feel so grateful to be in this country i'm very concerned i'm concerned about the economy i'm concerned about the homelessness but you don't think when we've i been made to the moon? five million i know other people can today what about the I've holocaust do you think the holocaust happened the holocaust is something that concerns me greatly what do you mean what are you thinking <laughs> it should what do, what do you think happened there a big lie it was a cash. i think i think something's happening you, you know there's work camps being created in new jersey right now because of the homeless problem but what do you think happened to the holocaust off, do you think that's a lie as work camps i mean i got a i got a grandmother whose whole family was wiped out in the holocaust so tell I me what tell me she's a liar i'm sure you did yeah so tell me is she a liar I mean, there's a lot of is is she a liar i'm working now with the first holocaust <laughs> plaintiff who, who was living in Romania. Her father did business in several countries, and he would have to use Swiss banks to... Uh, was to, the Holocaust the a cartoon? She was the first plaintiff <laughs> that came... But, but, but Paul, you're avoiding my question. That's a different question. question. Was well, the Holocaust the... a cartoon? Of course not. No. Nobody ever said Do you think it was a lie? Was, a the, was the Holocaust real? I mean, did it, did it well, happen? I think it's strange when the first plaintiff that comes forth to be compensated for being at Auschwitz, she was there at 14 years old, is not getting her money right and i'm going to be working with her a lot more because i really want to have good solid evidence and tonight i'm changing the name of my show by the way do you farther. understand any of this i don't understand what paul is saying well, do you understand I really why do someone understand. might tear their hair out and talk to you really? <laughs> i'll tell you that's why your show was what amazing. happened these, to the buildings these, these are not easy questions but what happened to me? the building All right, let's start the, with something more the other, simple the, the other thing the, 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 were Thank those you, air, <laughs> aircraft parts that were found in the building on the ground were those just plants that in somebody the just, building nothing was found in the building that the there building was like there were was, pieces of the engine if people, if people go to PaulaGloria.com, what I'm going to do is keep track of all of these questions and meticulously <laughs> and do what I didn't do. With what is she saying? Or you can oh, just read the New York Times wanna, and realize the plane flew into the World Trade Center. Let's get nuts. Oh, I okay, believe the New York Times. Just a second. The By New the way, York you... Times, Forbes magazine, the Wall Street Journal never would have made me five million. And Congress said. We shouldn't be doing it this way because truck drivers are becoming millionaires. I'm kind of shocked to see should. you have a decent body. I'll de I'll let's let's talk about something a little bit more real here. She's probably hot. You got it. I bet you. My uh, body got better since I embraced the mm. no planes theory. Because many, when you many... have true knowledge coming through, <laughs> you're more awake, more alive, less, you know, you're not depressed. How old the broad so is? Can I, I gotta accept the no planes theory? You're 56? Yeah. 56. And uh, you're in pretty good shape. Yeah. Oh, she looks great. Are you into men or women? 
<laughs> you go both? Men. Men? Have you ever been with men a woman? Men when I was doing that. Oh, you oh, giving you're not, up you, on men? You're not with men anymore? No planes, no sex? I'm 56. What's that got to do, do with have, anything? Do have, do have well, no, I'm really focused right now. You have no sexual desire? Uh, at this point, I've transmuted it. Uh -oh. What does that mean? Where'd it go? Huh? Where no, not, go? Not, not, not the repressing part. You mean you and, dried and up? And maybe there is some... Well... In a sense? I thought in a certain way, yeah. We mean you had to start using KY when you had sex with a man? No. Ooh. What were you saying? No, no, no. You really want to get into that? Sure. Yes. I'll, I'll seriously... Let's get into something. Have you ever been married? Of course, many times. How many, many times? Many times. Many times. You mean some guy left you? I can't even imagine. <laughs> I, can't, I can't. I cannot imagine that a man would leave you. you How many very times lively. have you been married? Uh, when I was 19 was the first time. And then uh, I got pregnant on an IUD, and the, and the abortion was so traumatic that I was celibate for 10 years. Good oh. Lord. All through my 20s. And then I met somebody when I was 30 who was Maharishi's secretary. I was doing a lot of transcendental meditation. Oh. oh. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and he, you know, he convinced me to use condoms. Yes. And so we, I was with him for seven years. Did you have any kids? No, he, he didn't want to. You know, no man wanted to have children with you? Mm -hmm. I don't know why. <laughs> I can't even imagine why. Wait a minute. He convinced <laughs> then... you to use condoms? You didn't want to use condoms? I don't understand. Um, Do you like a condom? I was traumatized to, you know, that what was supposed to be 98% secure not to get pregnant didn't work. Uh-huh. And, and, you know, I didn't have any compunction about having an abortion. I was going to a hippie college. But after I did, I was two weeks pregnant. I just felt terrible. Uh -huh. I felt like I did just an awful thing. And I remember going to my professor of ethics and I said, do you know ethics is based in physiology because my hormones have changed and I have a different attitude. All right, wait, 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 wait. I want to keep you on track. Right, no, yeah, I'm not, yeah, I don't mean yeah. to cut you off. Did you go to Berkeley? Yeah. Uh, no, I was born in San Francisco and I grew up in Berkeley. Oh, so you, so you were married, then you married a third time and then you, that ended in divorce. Did these guys yes. say you're hard to live with? I am. You are, right? Because of your, all your talking and theories? Is that, do you guys find that annoying? I would imagine. No, not that, that, no, not that part. I'm very, I'm very driven. Yeah. Okay. So you, you stopped having sex when? When you were in your 40s? No, I didn't stop having sex then. Um, but you've transcended sex? She you, transmuted. You, 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 transmuted. No, you can't believe how I wish I could get into this, but I don't want to be misunderstood. <laughs> so far, I haven't understood it's a thing. Yeah, no. It's all right to be misunderstood. So when's the last time you had sex? I mean, I'm just in, I, I just have the hopes that there'll be people out there that this will make sense to. Yeah, it will. Really. Just yeah. say it. Spit when it is out. The, when is the last time you had really good sex? Uh, probably, or just any sex. Any sex. Probably uh, <laughs> before I went to India. And when was that? Um, 2000. In 2000, you had sex. So That's just what? before India. Oh, no, excuse me, just a second. When Go I on. came back from India, me and my um, my latest, my ex-sometimes intimate partner, Alan Steinfeld, and I, I came back in four years for one month. And you had sex. And a, a lot of the mantras and the processes, I was experimenting and saying out loud while we had sex. And that was fabulous. Yeah. That I, was fabulous. I would get also, really freaked out if I was with you and you started chanting. started chanting. What, do you what does chant? that sound like? Well, you, have to, you have to ask Alan. Maybe someone will call in tonight and ask Alan what, what that did was you, like. It what, was pretty spectacular. What did you chant when you had sex? You know, when you do TM, you say it internally, but when you say it externally... You're not supposed to say your mantra out loud. Well, this, this is a different process. process. This is a tantric yes. process. Tantric. Yeah, right. So right. what did you start shouting when you were... You were laying in bed. I don't you're in, remember which you're in the throes of ecstasy. I have, I have a whole slew of mantras. But some guys inside there's, of you... Uh, there's a mighty erection mantra. I'm sure people would like that mantra. Well, what do you... What, <laughs> like, describe to me what you yell out when you were having sex. Can you do it for me? Please, no, you have just to tell me the words and I'll no, try No, I can't remember what they were because I can't remember which process I was right. on. I've said one a million times. You count them on beads. I see. Well, all right, I mean, so all right. you stopped having sex after that, even though it was so spectacular? Um, what happened was I, I encountered a medium that was talking about the origins of homosexuality and male and female souls, and he described the horror that some women went through in, in the past that was so terrifying and somehow it it made the next encounter oh. so so. Have disturbing. you ever been with a chick? No. 
You never tried it with a girl? Mark, you're on the air with uh, Paula Gloria. She's going to have a special tonight at 7 o'clock wow. on Howard 101. Uh, check out Paula's show farther down the rabbit hole at paulagloria.com and rabbitholecentral.tv. Right, go ahead, uh, Mark. I am Mark. Yes, Mark. I just have one question. Go ahead. Hi there. How do I get a Michelob bottle out of my ass? <laughs> no. Should you help him with that? How will you I'm answer those? Advice. Give, her, give him he, advice. He, 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 he brings up something interesting. <laughs> you know, when Rusty said that he shit blood after he came back from India, yes. I was really <laughs> very interested in because yes. I had never heard that symptom. <laughs> you fucking retard? What? I have a question for you. Go ahead. Hey, how do I get cum out of my cat's fur? Oh, uh, how do you get yeah, cum out of your cat's fur? How, Can you how do would me a favor? What? Hey, hello. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. <laughs> he hung up on himself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. You'll be answering phone calls tonight, I hope. Mm -hmm. All right, yes. We're so, sorry, Paul. Cos, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering if the chick's got a hairy cunt like every other hippie. Oh my God, oh, man. Well, that's legit. You want, let's, let's be... you want to know the truth on that one yes. too? Yes. <laughs> Okay. Do you have a hairy vagina? The, the, um, the cunt is a strong word. Wow. Go ahead, yes. Oh, uh, I don't like a word like that. Oh, my father's not listening. <laughs> He's not listening, believe me. <laughs> okay. Any the chance one, he has not that... to listen to you, he does. <laughs> Go ahead. The one from, um, that was Maharishi's secretary. Yes. For his birthday, I shaved myself. And he liked that so much, he insisted on that forever. So you're that completely I was shaven? Him. No, for, the, for those seven years. And now you are fully... Do you know how uncomfortable that is? No, I don't. When it grows out? Yeah, well, I, I, I clip it's it down. It's a very addictive process. Do you, what, what do you have now? Are you fully hairy down there? Yes. You are. Yes. Even the sides of your legs have yes. hair? Yes. Wow. Yeah. That, that, that so can't even be if fun. You Why go not? To I'm the, my own person now. If you go to the beach, <laughs> though, you don't worry about, you know. She don't go to no beach. Oh, when I, when I, I mean, I like to go places where I don't have to wear any swimming suits. Oh, so, so you're just out care. there you walk, in the, in the Where beach? do you go nude? I, I mean, I'm a great believer in sunlight therapy. Oh, I see. Huge. So do you go to a nudist? And the more it gets on your body, and the more it, sunlight hits your genitals. Hey, can I go to a diner well, right now? Me Wait a second. minute! How you <laughs> interrupt this? Sunlight is supposed to be hitting the genitals. The right? more yes. the sun oh. hits your genitals, it's more effective. Yeah. So where do you go it to? It changes the hormones, makes mm. happiness, joy, abundance. Would you bang Artie? He's getting hungry. Artie, <laughs> take off your pants and get some abundance. Well, listen. Uh... This has been great, and we'll see you again sometime. <laughs> <laughs> Paula, wh where do you where are you nude walking around outside? Where does this go down? A, a nudist colony? Um, <clears throat> the first time I went down to do my sunrise mantras on the East River, <laughs> there was a homeless person that said, "Don't jump, don't jump," because he couldn't imagine that somebody dressed like me would actually, out of their own free will, get out of bed and watch the sun come up in the morning. Right. So pretty soon, I felt pretty relaxed. There's nobody around, just a few people that are sleeping. So which what do you, so so you I do take that my top right off? Here. Because, you take because, your top off. Let me see. I was doing stuff with. Um, take your top off cancer. now. Mm, you can come on my show and take your bottom off, and then I'll. Do I'm it. not doing that. Okay. <laughs> Touche. <Yeah. laughs> are you, are you, are you, would you be up typing nude in here? Um. It's not the time yet. The reason I did those revealing 9-11 ones was because I started getting the Kundalini going up. And after oh, I came back from wow. India, like Rusty said, India can be, you know, a little scary. This is wild, huh? Hard on you. So you don't do that public access show My anymore? My body got better. You, you don't do a public access show anymore? Yeah, I do, oh, definitely. You do. You do. I love my okay. public access show. I have huge faith in it. Hate man, you're on the air. With How are you, honey? How you doing, baby? Are you talking to Paula? You know, yeah. What do you want to say? Listen, I want to slide my nice white pole between those big designers of yours. <laughs> I want to go down on that mojo mm. and lick you do around the world. Man. Wow. Well, well there's an mean, invitation. Do you get a lot he, he of... He doesn't uh, sound like one of my regular viewers. No, I think you're getting a whole new audience. <laughs> That's right, and then I'll lick your fucking cut. But that's why I cut them off, Robin. Yeah, I was afraid yeah. my public access show would get canceled for being abusive. Mm. Right, right. Well, listen, Paula, we're excited you're here. You will, of course. You've never actually met Rusty, have you? No. Would you want to meet him? Why not? Do you think if I brought in three guys, could you guess who Rusty is? <laughs> I'm sure I could. All right, they will play of what one of Rusty's. Here's one of Rusty's moments. 
Let's take a call now, and then after that, we're going to go over to Jenaba okay. to uh, to to address what you said. The caller, you're on farther down the rabbit hole. Hello, can you hear me? Oh, now I can hear you. Hi. Hi. Are you rusty? I just want to say. I this think we'll talk to you next time, Molly. This. Is good. Okay. To... Thanks a lot. Okay. Good enough. <laughs> And I know uh, in the past weeks, the previous weeks, I had a few um, what would be called crank callers. And these callers were particularly disturbing to some of my guests. And so I felt because of that reason I should sort of pull back on the call-ins. But at some time in the future, I actually want to record those calls and start to address them because... Each call, there's no such thing as a crank call. There's only a tragic expression of an unmet need. And in order for us to communicate effectively, we have to be in touch with our feelings and our needs in order, once we're fully in touch with those feelings and needs, we can create connections of empathy with other people. And then from there, we can um, make our requests and uh, be more assured that those requests will be met. And I have a call here. Caller, can you hear me? Hey, Paula, it's Rusty. Oh, Didn't Rusty, I have to, I have to de Rusty, did, are, have you been watching attentively? I, I love Great. your show, but I want stay, to see Stay tuned next week. I got another call. Okay, I want to deal with Rusty more next week when I'm more prepared. Uh, hello, caller one. Hello. Yes. Uh, am I on the air? Yes, you are. Uh, I was in Wharton. You were at Wharton? Yes. Great. Yep. I and fucked the girl in the ass there in the cafeteria. Pussy smelled like shit. Oh, my, oh my goodness. God. I'm so sorry about that. Wow. Um, I've got this recorded, and I will deal with those calls in the future because uh, it's. I know when it happens. Anyhow, uh, let me take a risk for one more, and then I'll try another roll in. Hello, caller. What about your tip? Okay. I'll deal with it later. Um. Wow. Man, Those guys I, uh, really do give you a hard time, don't they? No, I, I think it was a really good thing, actually. The intelligence that they had means that they had to listen. All right, there are uh, three guys standing there in front of you. Uh, one of them is Rusty, actually, uh, believe it or not, who works for us. Uh, do you have any idea which one it is? Number I know one. who he is. You do? How do you know? Because I've seen the YouTube stuff. Oh. Sarah Silverman. Which one is it? The one in the middle. Yeah, that's Richard. <laughs> that's right. Richard, say hi to your hey. friend, uh, Paula. Hi, Paula. It's Rusty. Well, hey, Rusty. can't even find your microphone. You Wait, go ahead. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, there you are. Hi, it's Rusty. Yeah, that's Rusty. <laughs> and then Rusty. there's Sal standing next to him. Sal calls Sal's you sometimes. Sal's his buddy. Hi, how are you? Yeah. Sal, are you Sal Gubernelli? <laughs> Goober, yeah, Goober. <laughs> I think Goober. You got it right. Most people can't pronounce it right. Somebody said you knew Edna Sintron. Is that Sal? Yeah, that's true. Wow. I yeah. fucked her. A pussy smell like shit. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Say, say I did it. I'm the joke, say totally so. joking in reference to the call. So, and and having... you never, you never fucked I never her. met her, never fucked her, and, and I don't even know who I'm talking about. So, I'm, I'm half retarded. So I'm sorry. we're having a fundraiser for the Concordia Foundation at the National Arts Club. <laughs> no. This Friday, can you come? <laughs> Yeah, sure. All okay. right. What the fuck is she talking about? I don't dude? know, man. It's really tough. It's just like Can Elephant I... Boy with a clear voice. Yeah, Can I yeah. ask Paula? Like, you you stopped taking calls on your public access show. Was that because of us? No, it's because they gave me a daily show, and I think uh, you can't take calls before twelve noon, and the daily shows only but are Paula, before twelve. Why? Noon. It's not my choice. I would love to. How many people do you think watch the show? You. Because Sal and Richard never had a problem getting through on your show. They appeared to be, you guys were almost the only callers, right? Yeah, it callers. was never hard to get through. Oh, what about Jubina? <laughs> well, Jubina. 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 said, Jubina said that, that I was, in, you know, inviting too much negativity and she <laughs> didn't want me to have any calls. And sadly, you guys have intimidated a lot of public access producers to take calls. Well, a lot of the shows don't take calls now, yeah. They're scared. And yeah. I, I hope it to ruins get... your gig. I, I know. We, but you know what, Howard? I'm, I'm moving to Queens in the summer, so they there's a whole other public access channel well, I'm out gonna, there. Well, I'm going to offer to teach skills in nonviolent communication. I'm going to be at St. Mark's Church this Sunday with the 9-11 movement because they have different, different What are you, Can you possibly... Explain to me what you're talking about with the 9-11 movement. Do you, I, okay, you don't. Th you think we went to war over 9-11, but you think they were cartoon images strung together by someone. 
to it's, dupe us. Well, I'm saying after three years, that's what I believe. I but, see. but initially, the, uh, there's different strategies to achieve getting out of war. Right. So the World Trade Center did go down, in your opinion, but not because of planes. Right. And what do you think right. brought that, down the building? That was perfectly said. What brought down the buildings? I mean, you create connections of empathy with everybody. What 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 um, what brought down the buildings? Uh, I'm I'm going to defer to the experts. Uh huh. What uh, do they say? Are any in the room? There's, there's different <laughs> there's different experts. What do you believe brought down the buildings? I believe some of the experts are war criminals. You do. Yeah. All right. Well, there you go, Robin. That should be clear. She's <laughs> Yeah, I, I yeah. Did you you might have asked already? Right, did you ever do like acid and stuff like that? Twice. Yeah, I think when so. I was nineteen. You might have done too much. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go to Dominic Barber who wants to say hello. Her voice <laughs> sounds exactly like Teresa Croy, and I, and some of her theories sound the same. <laughs> Is she maybe her daughter? She does sound like Croy a little she bit. She does sound like. She does. Croy. That's a very good observation, Dominic. Thank you, uh, Paul. Go ahead. You're on the air in Burlington, Vermont. Yeah. Good morning, guys. Yeah, I was just curious how often Miss Glory Hole masturbates. Do you ever do? do since you stopped having sex, well, you, you're very, very into tantra, mm. but no sex. Will you touch yourself? To no, but sex is transmuted. I mean, when you get calls, it's like sex, right? It's when you have yep. a connection. No. But you that probably people. do. It's like the energy. Do you touch yourself? Connection. Do you masturbate at all? No. Never. The last time no, you masturbated I, was I, when. Well, I I learned at seven years old and taught my brother. I understand, but why? <laughs> so. When did you stop? When did you stop? Uh, when I learned how to transcend in my twenties. So I watched it through yourself. the dream state. I watched because you know I was really I wanted to be in cosmic consciousness. How'd you teach your brother? And oh. and why can't you be in cosmic consciousness and and, and, have and have sex? Oh. Oh, please do not misunderstand me. When I had an hour-long orgasm with the guy who convinced me to use condoms, you know, Maharishi's secretary, a guy who <laughs> meditates can hold his energy and, and keep not me. I for meditate. hours. I for can, hours. I can. I've been doing transcendental meditation since I'm 18 years old. Would she be willing to ride the Sibian this morning? Ah, mm. I don't think so. I, I think that would be a tough sell. That, that, that was a good call. I bet <laughs> Paula is one so of those. Paula, Paula why don't you, why don't you uh, put your finger on your vagina and make yourself feel good? I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I could never get an orgasm touching myself anyway. No. Huh? No. No. All right, Robin. And, and She's I'm different very, than Robin. Very wow. No, I don't touch myself. And the hour-long orgasm was very dependent on, on a penis. <laughs> it, it had to have that circuit of energy. All right, all right. Well, is there a uh, a preference of penis that you like? What do you mean? Like black, Italian, uncircumcised? <laughs> you guys can leave now. You're so annoying. Yeah, I have one quick question now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, they're like, not annoying. We should create connections of empathy. She does have a sexy voice. Like, do you, are you into phone sex or anything like that? You have a sexy voice. Um, thank you. No. All right. I'm not thank you guys. That. All right. Very I'll good. defer to the expert. <laughs> I right, finally, Mike, you're on the air, and uh, what, what can I say? Uh, Mike, go ahead. Hi, this. My name's Ruben, by the way. Oh, Ruben, go ahead. Okay, I worked at 120 Broadway um, on the 19th floor, one block from the World Trade Center. I was in a cubicle facing the World Trade Center when the first plane hit and it shook the building. We opened the shades. We were watching office furniture falling out of the building and paper on fire, and I was watching along with 15 other people as the second plane entered the second tower and i can say for a fact it was definitely a plane you're going to ruin paula's fun with that yeah. information you know i know she's wacky and i know she's a little confused but if there's one thing i want her to be clear about is that it was a plane that entered mike that was tower. there firsthand and saw the plane actually slice through the right. building how do you answer well, that here, here's an here's an example of nonviolent communication skills he's asking me based on his authority to accept something Nonviolent communication says if you can exchange information, then you have a chance of connections power with as opposed to power over. He seems wow. like a very powerful person, very mm. assertive. Paula, Paula, but you're not, would, Paula, what do you think of the fact that the guy, he seems like a legitimate guy, a regular working man. But I don't know him. Oh, so you think he's lying? <laughs> I don't know. 
Why, you know, why, you know, I watch, why would I he lie about something What's his like motivation? Well, I know what, what is, what's in it for him? I, 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 he may well not be lying, but people may not really know what they're seeing. So do we believe a guy who was standing on Worth Street or somebody who was in an ashram in India so when this think, all occurred? Yeah, do you think and my, getting all this information secondhand three years later? Do you think my grandmother's an asshole who lies about her family being wiped out in the Holocaust and watching them being shipped off on trains? That's a very serious <laughs> Can I say that's a very, a very serious, serious so, so, what, what, and, and to, to, to call your grandmother a liar. No, I'm saying I would do you hardly do that. I mean, I have uh, I have the premier Holocaust, the first plaintiff in the case. On I don't my know what show. she's saying. She's supporting she's, the, she that the Holocaust, the Holocaust happened. happened. You think the Holocaust happened? Yeah. I think there I think there are things that should be looked at. Like, why isn't she getting her money when she's the first plaintiff? What's going on? Oh, there? okay. I don't know. I don't know what you're saying. Uh, I'm just so confused. Marianne from Brooklyn, you're on the air. Howard, the lady, you're a total nut job, but you know what? December 11th, you're totally off base. We lost my sister-in-law, but there's something about your voice that's incredible, and you're very, it's like very soothing and very likable. I just can't even explain it. All right, she my finds your voice soothing. Frosty, go ahead. Hey, Howard, I just want to ask Paula if she could talk dirty to me with that voice while I jerk off. <laughs> Would you be willing to do that, Paula, help this guy masturbate? I, I don't think I have to talk dirty for you to do that. No, not really. <laughs> she does have a sexy voice. Uh, uh, it's a very I mean, uh, it's your melodious. choices. I'm trying to give people different choices. God is choice. What do you uh, want her put to your say? Cock, for... Put your cock between my tits. All right. Would you say oh, something Artie. like that to him? No, the choice, yeah, the going. choice would, the, the choice would be. This <laughs> is yeah. this is the 911. Can you say so something sexy? Movement. Can you yeah, say something porn? Can you say talk something sexy to him? <laughs> he just even he doesn't even care. Talk about 911 some more. He's almost done. What do you What do you want to say? On YouTube, that's what they've done they've they've inserted images and yes. so a person might be almost Talk about the gash in the orgasm. building they go, oh my it. god cartoons and oh, shake your and they say oh, yeah. oh he's done insert your yeah, cock like they inserted images thank you so much paula and Artie. all right well anyway <laughs> let me tell you that tonight and i'm sure rusty will be calling in uh tonight paula will be on howard 101 we're going to give her a whole hour to say whatever she wants wonderful and she can... Do you ever get visibly angry? Do you ever get angry? Because you seem uh, hugely very... Hugely angry. You're very angry. You ask some people who work with me. You do get angry? Yeah. And you raise your voice? Of course. Of course. Wow. As, as a matter of fact, we have to take park breaks. We have to go into Gramercy Park and scream there. All right. Of you course. Know, well, check out Paula's show, Farther Down the Rabbit Hole. No, I'm going to call it Total Penetration to explain how we were hypnotized during 9-11 and what sex <laughs> has to do with it. Mm. Oh. So I'm changing it for your, for your, you know, milieu for our channel, here. Yes. It's the farther down the rabbit hole is about going into topics more deeply. Total penetration is going into 9/11 more deeply. And the how much money do you and have? And the Holocaust and the the, the moon thing. We'll you, work free, you work for free. You work for free at the moon. You work for free at public <laughs> access. How do you make any money? Um, I've been able to have some people help me with my with with my apartment, and. Showing binary economics, capital ownership is great. It's escalated in value. Wow, there's nothing I understand. <laughs> there's nothing I understand. Are you living on the? Uh, <clears throat> Are you on the doll? No, the um, ask. You know the the. We've been getting have donations. Have you ever been donations. institutionalized? Donations. Have you, have, have you ever been committed? To like like uh, like except, um, this Friday. No, have you ever been in a mental institution? No. Have you ever been committed to one? No. No. Because your family ever said, to, do you have any contact with your parents? Oh, very close. And do they think my, something's my going on? My father was on, on chemo, and, you know, I uh, was very concerned about that. I felt bad that I was in India so long. I see. That right. that happened. But he's he's getting better. Equity he's is getting what better. I was looking for. Are you yeah. living on the equity of your home? The equity gives people confidence to keep it going, and now the donations are coming in. We're oh, going to have a fundraiser. Fundraiser what is it, Gary? Hey, we just uh, we just Googled her, yeah. and you know when you go to Google, you can do images, and like the first two or three pictures we found of you, you're sitting and behind you on a wall, right above your head, there's a picture of a swastika. Yes. What's that Thank about? You. Mantra Thank you. Mantra and yantra <laughs> equals tantra. Okay, mantras are sounds, and yantras are shapes. And very classical shapes would be like the cross. In India, you have equal time given to what we call the Star of David, but is called the Sri Yantra, means prosperity. And the swastika is a sign of um, the fiery cross and the sign of auspiciousness. Mm -hmm. 
and it's pointed in different directions. Well, I thought I was going to get a clearer yeah, answer. Yeah, I don't know yeah, why. Yeah, there's no answer. Well, you know, the no. Nazis did co-opt that right. symbol. It wasn't their symbol. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, so right. you like the swastika? And in some ways, the Zionists co-opted the, uh, the Star of David. Because if you go to the Central Synagogue here in New York, are you on Jewish? Lexington, I, don't, I, can't, I can't get the agenda here. Are you against the Jews? Are you for the Jews? I know. People are very puzzled by that. The the, we don't know reason, one thing you're saying. The only reason I might... Do you know anything after this interview, Robin? I, I, I no. But let me just but, but let me finish up on Yantras. The Star of David. If you go to the Central Synagogue on Lexington, you will not see. Do you like a Jews? Answer yes or no. Do you like them? Obviously, I do. All you do my, like them. I'm, 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 all the people I work with here in New York are Jewish. Rob, go ahead. You're on this time. I don't. Yeah, I, I was just amazed because I googled her and and I see her sitting there. She looks like a third grade teacher. She got this big swastika above her head. Why crazy. would you do that when you know people are so offended by the swastika? Because I, mean, I have the other side of the room with the Star of David. There are a lot of people that are offended by that. I but have to all say, signals I, and, or all symbols that you could use, you choose a swastika. Yeah, I mean, why would you even because want to be each, associated because with that? Because each one has different energies. Why would you want to even be associated because with the swastika? I don't, I don't it, was, want... it represents one of the worst Holocausts. This country had to go to war. Because I'm Veterans not... were, you know, people who served in that war were killed. I'm not giving that puppet Adolf mm. Hitler that power. You, you take I want that there. power. You are, you're keeping I want it alive. It. You're, you're posting it every time now someone looks like uh, Bob, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hello? Yes. Do you beg to have done in the decks, did you life in Tennessee? Yeah. Did you ever in Tennessee? No. I couldn't understand him. You're kidding. It's it too. That do don't that up by Santa Claus and two up on the B. Yeah, with Santa Claus. Go ahead and answer that. <laughs> Would you please? Why not? Go ahead. All right. Listen. Tonight, Paula <laughs> Gloria will be on seven o'clock on Howard one hundred one. I don't know what you're going to learn. But maybe when she has a chance to expand, this will all come clear. Can you all come to the fundraiser at the no. National Arts Absolutely Club on Friday? Not. Absolutely not. That's where you learn about it. I have no things. interest. Can I we... don't even know what we're talking about. <laughs> what is it? At Friday at oh, the National Arts Club. And we're going to be explaining the new art that comes over the Internet and how people work the world over and how people in other parts of the world know more about what happened during 9-11 than we do. Hmm. All right. Well, there you go. Hmm. Here's what I think happened during 9-11. I think two planes were hijacked hmm. and went into a building, right. and the building toppled. What do you think of that? That's what I think. Oh, you're too simplistic. I'm an idiot, huh? <laughs> That's what I think. I agree with the guy who called him and said, I saw the planes go through the building. I happen to believe yeah. that there are but people who saw that. But did a plane going into a building turn the building into dust? Yes. I and you know what? Howard... And you know what? There were no yeah. people waving. There might have been people well, jumping and You know and what? There might have help. been people yeah. waving who saw helicopters going by, and they were hoping to be rescued yeah, after they... Yeah, but in the gash, I think all of those in, people got incinerated Yeah, and there were people who were diving out of the building from that cartoon. Yeah. Howard, I don't think anybody said they saw the airplane with their eyes go in That's one side and out the other. No, he said it. he saw it go in. Well, the only I place mean, you saw it go in one side and come out the other was for a second on television. That's when it went in one side and came out the other, the nose intact on the other side. That was a computer-generated image. All right. Well, ne you know what? Neither that. plane I, I, came out the that other was, side. No. They, they no. That was the illusion of total penetration, and real sex can wake us I up. I think she needs to get laid. Yeah, I think, you know what, seriously? You're, talking, much, you're, you're, you're being a little crazy. Too much tantra. I don't mean to, I don't mean to disparage first, you. No, no, you don't. Yeah, I, I mean, I but mean, I think I there might be... I wouldn't have gotten this far by to, now if I had I don't been think, disparaged by such comments. I don't think you've gotten <laughs> far at all. Tantra uh, plus mantra what equals straight What do you mean? I'm sitting here, right? Isn't that's true. That far? That's true. <laughs> I, I just don't even know. Uh, this guy says you he can... You think so little of yourself, One Howard. last I'm phone here. call. Here's one last phone call. This guy says he can explain Paula's theory because Paula is not explaining it well. Let's hear this. Go ahead, Adam. You're not. Yes. There, uh, there's a website uh, called 911 Theories or 911. What is the theory? Explain it to me quickly, Adam. I'm losing patience now. Okay. The theory is that it was a media hoax. Everybody was watching pre-taped explosion and demolition of the towers being collapsed. The planes are fake. The theories are that New York was around the towers. It was all cleared out at 7.45 in the morning for a gas leak. So nobody Nor died in the building. Hmm. Yeah. I have a friend named Jay Magazine who is now dead. How did he right. die? Yeah, where did all those people well, go? I had a neighbor who lived I, in my building. I He's dead. 
I agree that the towers were hit by planes. Just people just think the government's all about conspiracies. I don't think that. You don't it's think that? Bunch, all right. You better explain it tonight. I, I, uh, so, you don't think the government had anything no, to do with this? So who did I it? Um, Hanna Barbera. Outside military contractor with good PR that can buy off the media. All right. Okay. Fair mm. enough. And I can't believe I'm here, and I'm so grateful, and I thank you so much. Well, thank you. And I and wish you would come to the fundraiser at the National never. Arts Club on Friday. I would never go. Because everybody's going to be out of town. It's going to be I'm not going. Empty-ish. Other people Very can go. Very classy place. Right on uh, the park. Listen to Paula Gloria's special tonight at 7 o'clock on Howard 101. We have allowed her to have an hour where people can call. And uh, I think it should be fun, maybe. And I don't know. we're going to explain total penetration. Just take a lot of phone calls. My yes, audience will definitely. have a field day with you. Yeah. Check out Paula's show farther down the rabbit hole at paulagloria.com and rabbitholecentral.tv. I like you. You have a good sense of humor. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, I'll be honest. <laughs> uh, God bless you, though. You seem like you're having fun. you got a lot of interests. You're not hung up on sex. Uh, you're running around naked. Good for you. That's all that, li- that's all that matters. Because believe me, when you die... Yeah. It's all, all this is that. You certainly should know that. All right. Um, We will take a break, and then we will try to figure out what just happened (laughs) right after these words. And uh, so Tim wrote me, he goes, that that Paula Gloria woman is on the air right now. He goes, it's crazy. He goes, (laughs) like, if you think Riley's nuts, she's really nuts. And and he says she has this whole crew with her, and, like, some of the guys look homeless. (laughs) Oh. And it was Some of the guys look, I thought Paula looked homeless. Yeah. And I guess Paula's thing, I didn't realize it. You know, we met Paula Gloria because she had a public access show. I'm just giving people the background. She had a public access show. And Richard and Sal used to call it all the time and bust her balls. And she just sounded like really kind of eerie. Yes. So we had her in and we said, hey, why don't we give her a show so Sal and Richard could go back to busting her balls. But meanwhile, she had the show and it was just bizarre because they're all... 9-11 conspiracy theorists, and they started arguing with each other. And Really? Yeah, wait, I'll play you something from it. I decided that she scares me. <laughs> yeah, me too. You know what I mean? Like, sitting here with that smile on her face, like, that's that might be the last thing you see before you go right into hell, man. <laughs> she's got Imagine a... hell was like you had to spend time with her for eternity. And that's she'd hell. be talking like that the yeah. whole time? Here, let's see. Which is, oh, this is where they yell at some dude. Like, I... I Tim sent me a picture of what was going on in here. There was about 10 guys and women in here. Uh-huh. and They're all into 9-11 conspiracy theories. And uh, none of them make any sense. <laughs> you know, like, like it's just crazy. Now, yeah. one clip you were playing before the show, w- was that them where the one guy was going, fuck the caller? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to play it now. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was insane. Yeah, listen. The cult was created by the I'm Truth movement. The I'm Truth movement created the cult. They got infiltrated also by Urantia. That's a cult. You're a camera hugger. You know this? You're a I don't know why I always interrupt it, but I'm doing my fucking research, okay? So <laughs> no, you is corner. my it's research. My Urantia yeah, you is the right. OSS NSA front, and uh, one of the biggest war criminals is also Les right. Jameson, who infiltrated my group, New York Times. Okay. You're a sky up. You're a sky up. You're a sky up. I do want to yes. say, uh, Nico and, and I have different strategies, and, and, and yeah, I'm sure. going to be working with Les Jameson well, on com- unity, and there's also diversity. Okay, let Paula talk. We have Nico, Nico. Nico, relax for a second. I know you've built up all this you research. You see, I always interrupt me when I bring names and research. I get interrupted. should be explained that Nico and Paula Gloria have been living together for the last three months. That's why he wants to gas people. That's why Nico here wants to gas people. He's frustrated. Seven years of abuse of nine. Alan Stein is Paula Gloria's former lover. I have to fucking lie to speak out now. Nico, you're looking more like Hitler every second. That's okay with me. That's the gassing begun. I love this show. Show. Seven years. Seven years abuse plus five months. We've got another call here. Plus five months is one. <laughs> Fuck the caller. Then my translation of the phone from a guy called Tito. His telephone number is 917. Yes. <laughs> I think Nico's a breakout hit. Hey, can you keep no, it down? Then just cut that off. Okay. Okay, okay let's take this. No numbers. <laughs> We're, we're, no we're, numbers. This is, this Where's is a numerology process. This, in is, the new this millennium. is a process. We're mastering oh. abuse here, okay? So, caller, you're with us? Yeah, it sounds like a fight in the back room of a 7-Eleven. Can you keep it down? I'm trying to make a call here. Oh, right. <laughs> okay. Stop Stop like that you know. Let, now, you, are you insane, Paula? You're saying that the planes did not hit the World Trade Center. I know a lot of women that are crazy, but you take the fucking cake. Thank you. Can you explain this? Yes, I can. <laughs> 
Go to paulagloria.com, and I will elaborate on it in much greater detail. It's a big topic, and that's why I call this total penetration. Sometimes total penetration call it total is, a, is a... See, abusive. the 9-11 movement Sometimes is going nowhere. We need a new gig. No, people no. are. <laughs> we just need a new gig. And, and it, wasn't, it wasn't Al-Qaeda. Everybody knows it was there a group. There is no fuck Al-Qaeda. Al-Qaeda, Al-Qaeda is called, a fantasy wait, front. Would you listen to Daniel me? Pipes. It was a group called Baba Bowie. Everybody knows oh, that. Thank, thank you. Right, right. Thank Baba you so Bowie, much, Bowie. caller. Yeah, but... <laughs> Down the rabbit hole. <laughs> So we gave her our own show, and they were fighting. And uh, that is I love funny. Her show. That's entertaining as I well. I love it. I got to tell you something. Like that's a real highlight. But uh-huh. there was a lot, a lot of, of slow lights. moments. <laughs> oh my god! I tuned in, and she was rattling on. And it was toward the end of the show, like in the last fifteen minutes, and she's rattling on. And then finally, a caller got in, and started busting her balls and like goofing on her. <laughs> and I don't. JD's got to find that one call. It was so funny. But all she, you got to do is ask that guy Nico something, and just interrupt him. Just make it the Paula and Nico show. Yeah, Nico's the best. I I, 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 I fucking like to speak. <laughs> <laughs> was it was it the one caller that was saying he was like the graphic artist, like he was the one that that created the? Uh... Oh, maybe I don't know. Let me see. It's the, it's the bottom one in white. It's the last one in white. There. Feeds, so we have only he comes up after four official live feed. Every other footage uh, exists uh, only in fifteen twenty originals. Then was multiplied, re-edited, and I personally link it to uh, an application called Future Combat System, or it must have been some kind of prototype of Google Earth. So what they can do is, since 2000 uh, and longer, they can map and zone... Such a waste of time. Oh, this, you know. this and, guy's and funny, you know, All the technologies drive these people crazy, Google yeah. Earth. His number is 917! Earth in real time, then they basically freeze uh, uh, the whole landscape and then can shake it around like a basketball. It makes it uh, uh, very easy. Just can't be it because she was rattling on, J.D. She was like, la, 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 and the caller comes in, you fucking asshole. You know, it's... Put them in real time to add CGI's, <laughs> but also use different layers of landscapes, and accidentally you see sometimes, oh, the buildings are not at the right place. We have uh, a relevant caller on this topic. Okay, okay so if you're interested in that future comet system, it was contract in 2000. Uh, Let's go to the website, paulagloria.com. Yeah. Click on the Nico Hopkins because it's a, it's a big deal. Faster, and we've faster got a caller, and he's relating <laughs> to this. Faster, okay. okay, caller? <laughs> caller? Yeah. Uh, you, you're asking about graphic art? A graphic no, artist? No, no, I'm, I'm one of the graphic artists that actually... Uh, that actually made the airplane. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, oh, finally. Oh, finally. Oh, come on. Yeah. I don't so believe I, that. I, I was, I've been waiting for I like I do eight not years. believe that. No. Hey. Let, 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 let him speak. Let him speak. Let him speak. First. Let him speak. First. Let him speak. Let him speak. Go ahead. Sorry. Oh, yeah. No, I am. I'm uh, I'm employed. At, well, I'm a freelance graphic artist, but I'm employed by a, a society called the Gatekeepers. And, uh, oh, come on. We love it. No, no, no continue. No, continue. Continue. Is continue. your name Timothy Wooden, perhaps? No. What else? You're what is that? Evan Clark. Okay, you tell us some more. Know. Are you with Goldman Sachs? No, tell us some more. If you're serious, tell I us some more. I a man named Sir John Cromwell, who, yeah. uh, mastermind, he's a mastermind behind the entire uh, <laughs> operation. And actually, it was supposed to be. A practical joke, but it got way out of hand. I way out of hand. Really mean, destroying the buildings was a practical now, joke. The, which footage did you well, use? Well, they, they, oh, well, don't, get don't get personal. Don't get personal. Which footage did you <laughs> use? And do you know the kilt on second page? Can you send us the link? Which footage did you use? Yeah, come you on, wanna, identify yourself a little. Just want to verify your oh, claim. Oh, sir, sir, caller. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you're in New York, could you join us at the National Arts Club Friday the 23rd for the benefit of the Concordia Foundation? She's you... asking the guy who masterminded the 9-11 <laughs> to join them. <laughs> Take anyone's support. <laughs> even I, mean, this is, I can't show my face. I mean, bring, I could be, bring sunglasses. I could be Put a mask. Um, Thank you for calling. No, it's no, okay. don't you want to talk? If this is true, I mean, uh, this is do, like the oh missing my link. God. I do want to talk about the importance of using free speech, of using all our capacity as artists and being able to exchange information in this lively way. Wow. I'll tell you, oh, I love it. There's a there's a the a feminine sounding guy. There's the guy who just keeps going, speak faster, Nico. Right. And then there's somebody who sounds like Doctor Strangelove. Yeah. And, and individually, you know, they're all boring, I, but together I they're like the Beatles. Team. I love this. Jeff team. the drunk somehow got on there too. <laughs> I just know one thing right now: the government's got a spot of short hairs. We don't actually think the government. We think an outside agency with some good PR right. and and that that marine that called in from uh, West. West Virginia, we're very concerned about this. Al, AQ Al Qaeda, what do you have to say about that? 
I, I have a lot of uh, 9-11 related uh, artwork. I can't really describe it on the radio, but it's like pro and con. I also have uh, a lot of uh, FDNY, uh, NYPD, and also the uh, Port Authority. Um, I, I oh, well, you're fucking crazy. You and everybody there is fucking nuts. Get the fuck out. Get out of there. Bloomberg's the biggest cocksucker. All right. Okay, we have another He's caller. He's a cocksucker. Uh, Bloomberg's a cocksucker. Oh, oh, my Bloomberg goodness. Is. He, he, blew, he blew Nicholas Capetta. <laughs> okay, let's, let's he's blown, carry on a little okay. more. He, he's we blown John caller. McCain, too. Uh, Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay. Go ahead, Paul. Can we I'm have sorry. the next caller? He blew John McCain. And, and Nicholas who's, Capetta. Who is Nicholas Capetta? Who is it? He's in charge of the fire department. Oh. Is he? No. He doesn't mean literally blew them. He means, like, blows them. I don't know what them. he means. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, literally blew him. <laughs> this could be called live from Bellevue. This right. is the best show I've ever It yeah, really is. Blew him by sucking his cock. <laughs> I think I clicked him on here, but I'm go back uh, Hi, Paula. Hi. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes, my father was killed in the World Trade Center attack on 9-11. God bless you. And uh, his name was Steve Langford. And uh, I, I don't get why you guys are saying that planes didn't crash into the building. I mean, my mother, Penny Crone, she had to go out and work now. And my brother, John Hine, he has to go out and work now. Mm -hmm. this so has why to do why with are the... you saying planes? Go ahead. Yes, Web Ferry, this is your specialty on this one with Edna Sintron in the hole. Hi. Um, we're not saying that the buildings are still there or that nothing happened or any of that. Uh, all that we are saying is that uh, the method by which they created this horrendous catastrophe is different than what they showed us on television. The first hit, <laughs> there's no plane in it. The second hit is made of cartoons. This, I'm sorry that we have to open up wounds with people who really, truly died. And was there even any DNA found of your loss? Uh, there were a thousand people. There were no DNA evidence left of their lives. Man. Planes do not do this. Jet fuel fires do not. She's so creepy. What's That's going on in her mouth? Web fairy. Web fairy. Uh, <laughs> she goes, Web fairy. You know about this. This is your area. Planes do not do your, this. Your area, cartoon drawings <laughs> were the planes. Uh, Web this fairy, is, you want to take this one? This is your particular area of nuttiness. <laughs> Web fairy. I, I, can't, I gotta listen to this show all the way through. Somebody's gotta give me the whole CD. Shut up, Web fairy. <laughs> Let me speak, Web fairy. Nico, shut up. Quickly. <laughs> Yeah, fuck you! I have the right to speak! Bloomberg is a cocksucker! I have to yell every time! <laughs> Vito, you're on the air in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Hey, how are you doing, buddy? Hey. I, I really, really don't understand that girl. You know what? We really... Fuck your world, but two is a puppet show. Yeah? Wait, Mary, you want to take this one? Yeah. Yes, World War Two was a puppet show. Did you see Bugs Bunny <laughs> flew the plane in? We're not saying that World War Two didn't happen. We're saying uh, the Jews were drawn in. They were cartoon figures. <laughs> How do you hey. explain Foghorn Leghorn next to the Jews? You know what really blows my mind out that I understand Oqua Tintin Juan, but I don't understand Mantra and Yantra Kotu Tantra. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. <laughs> were you saying Riley is who's who's more Let crazy? Me ask you Riley clearly these people are crazy. I think are you so. are you voting for another special from her? Yeah. Um, not really. Oh, I, my really God. God. Well, Robin, in all it fairness, you can't really vote. You didn't hear the whole thing. All right. It's, Listen, uh, based on what I heard. Really yeah, but I'm giving you highlights. Put it this way. I think Riley should get a raise. Because oh, yeah? she really sucks. Okay. Well, there you go. Riley hey, brought guys, these people listen, crazy. Guys, have a good day. I'm going to get out of right. here. Rich, go ahead. Rich? Yeah. You're on. Hey, Howard. Uh, sorry, but I, I need to uh, address to where I can send the bill to get my front dash cleaned up. I just spit coffee all over the uh. windshield. That is that is gold, man. That, it is. Uh, it is. I mean, I almost wrecked my car. It's raining here in Maryland, and I'm just dying laughing. Uh, yeah. It's too. not raining. That's a cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that they were really in great form last night because 
they're used to getting together on public access right. where they get no real calls. Right. And I feel like they thought they were being heard last night, so they were yeah. they were all fighting for Wait, space. Don't hang up on this guy. If this is if he's telling you the truth, it's the missing link. Yeah. What are we doing? Finally, is, that good, is, is she going to be a normal thing? I like that they didn't believe the guy calling in saying that he drew all the pictures. He was the graphic <laughs> well, artist. Well, one person was yeah. thinking it was. What if it is him? <laughs> yeah. If it's him, then we should let hear him, this. Shut up, more. faggot. <laughs> let him talk more if this is real. Who cares if it's real? <laughs> no one cares. This homo speaking when I'm trying to give out a phone number. We have a caller. I like. Uh, I, I think we should have Nico 101 and Nico 102. <laughs> what we're doing is trying to come to some conclusion. We're we're fighting abuse here. Fighting abuse. <laughs> That's why I call the show total penetration and not down the rabbit hole. She's another one. Was there any DNA? <laughs> Any DNA from a thousand jet, people. Jet fuel doesn't do that. <laughs> jet fuel that would leave DNAs. <laughs> jet fuel. Web fairy, you sound ridiculous. <laughs> but, but, but jet fuel. Shut up, Nico. Oh. <laughs> Nico, you're you're uh, you're not. You know what, Nico? You're 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 filibustering. <laughs> Howard, you guys are gold. Keep up. Oh, All right, thank I you. love this show. I'm I sorry. do too. I'm with Robin. I, I'm starting to like it. I want to hear the whole thing too. Maybe uh, yet. I want to see if these are the highlights. I guess yeah. they are. Tim, what were were the level of phone calls like? Tim has a way of monitoring that. Tim, fuck Tim. <laughs> Tim doesn't know. He's enormous. <laughs> Makes up all those numbers. He was eating apple strudel the entire night. Tim Blue Bloomberg. Uh, Tim Blue Berm Tim Berg. Tim is a cocksucker. <laughs> They're created by man. We can solve them by man. Tim's got his reading glasses on. That means yes, he's been going over the numbers. Very yes. That's yes. very hip glass. Like Lisa Lobish. You look like Lisa Globe. <laughs> Thank you. What was the what was the, was the reaction? I'll, I'll get the count. The, the reaction was great. Uh, the phones were all lit up through, during the entire show. Are you but thinking I'm, of giving her another show? Absolutely. <laughs> you are. Uh, absolutely. How many people did she have with her? There was about five people with her. Wow. Looked I'm, like more in the picture. Well, well we, we had, had them locked up. Well, well we that had was the, the, the cartoon. Fishbowl. Cartoon. Right. Mm -hmm. you, <laughs> had them in, you had them in the fishbowl. Right. And the. The picture I saw looked like there was like nine people on that panel. Well, there was other people, producers and oh, stuff. Oh, oh, I so. see. I'm against. I'm I'm for the show, but I'm against them coming here every night. <laughs> like those people, <laughs> they're planting stuff. Like uh, we're planting detonations around. 